Okay. Uh, for those of you in the back, I apologize. I am going to sit because I am fatigued. So fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> in the grand tradition of poets, I have a, an old piece, a work in progress, and a very, very new one. We start with a classic. Intellectually sexy. Your speech patterns are like fingernails down my back, tugging my hair, digging into the base of my skull, sticking you to the skull. You make violently passionate love to my cerebral cortex, slowly licking the inner thigh of the intellect. You suck my philosophical cord. <laughs> Giving me multitude of multiple epiphanies and full mind-body realizations. I want to envelop your mind and let my thoughts run down your chin. My soul opens to you like smooth legs on silken sheets, and I find myself longing for an even deeper mind-body-soul connection. I dream of fucking you on a molecular level. We two becoming one, he becomes she, I become we to know and be known, whispering sweet nothings and creative urges, deep thoughts and personal beliefs, dreams being shared and merged like sweat and other juices. I could ride your ideas with a strength and endurance that would wear out a mechanical bull while waves of metaphors crash around me until we're both so high, we can only be silent, contemplating the beauty of a perfectly shared moment. This one is called Slut for Shame. I am deeply, deeply, turned on and completely fucking terrified by the idea that my past lovers are talking to each other about me. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> <with Lana. laughs> Maybe they've shared stories, compared notes, <coughs> High-fived, thumbs-upped, and one-upped, regaling each other with glorious tales of railing me. <laughs> I am terrified. And so turned on. I had a dream about it. I was sitting in the center of a circle, my past lovers surrounding me on all sides. You have to be a bigger room in this. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are tight shut, and I hear the voices. She's so hot. They're so tight. She sucks cock like a pro. I want to get up. I want to leave. I can't breathe in this. Verbal gangbang. I hate that I'm tingling all over. She's got such sweet pulses. Her pussy gets so fucking wet. I can't do this. I'm crying through the blindfold of my own eyelashes as this shameful praise rains down on me. She smells like they taste like they feel like. Please stop. Don't tell me. Don't say it. She's so beautiful. I'm going to come through my tears and breathlessness and confusion. I'm so confused and I'm about to get off. She comes so fucking hard. Please don't say that. She comes so hard. Don't say it. She comes. Please don't. So don't say it. Hard. Don't. I woke up then, shaking in my sheets, terrified, and so turned on. <laughs> this last 
piece. Um, I was really excited when I saw the, the title of the event. Uh, this is a floating world. How many people actually know what the floating world makes reference to? Right? Yes. Yes, we, we love some like cultural awareness. Those of you that maybe don't, or just because I don't want to show off my readiness. Uh, the floating world, the Ukiyo-e, is connected to the pleasure districts of Japan during the Edo period. And during that time, a new art form was also created, the Ukiyo-e, the images of the floating world. One of the most famous artists at that time was Master Hokusai, and he made a woodblock print that many of you have probably seen. And those of you that haven't, please do Google it right after this. The Dream of the Fisherman's Wife. And again, the temptation comes over and over. It comes. As I sleep, as I fall into myself, into the darkness, into the shadows, as I slip from consciousness into the inky recesses of my night mind, temptation comes. I hear the ocean calling me. My forbidden, many tentacled love. Waits under the rocks. It waits for me down, deep down, deep, deep, deep into the pelagic inner realms of my dream self, a dim, thalassic abyss I dare not speak of. A mouth clamps on my breast, another on my vulva, the beak, the sharp. Aquiline beak scraping my mouth just above my clitoris. Pain ignored for the quick flickering of his tongue, tentacles wrapping around my legs, tightening grip at my wrists, and my ankles, and my throat, and it feeds on me. It feeds as it fucks, it fucks, and it takes, it takes. And it gives, it gives, and it grows. The two becoming larger, becoming something terrifying and beautiful. And so fully consuming, I cannot say a word. I can only struggle to breathe and silently beg for more. Soon, the beak turns into teeth. The soft lips, the tentacles become hands, arms, legs, and other fleshy appendages. Human only in seeming with an intense preternatural animal strength, the man before me now, the man between my legs, filling me with his phallus is no man, and yet more than man. The other at my breast, a strange, sexless being. They take me to places no human has ever taken another human before. I know it is wrong. I know that it is forbidden. But every night, I dream and I wake hungry. 